silly kitties who are playing right now because they had dinner, they rested a little bit, and now it's on. We turned our bathroom into a kitty den pretty much where we raise our three little kittens till the time is good for them to be adopted out. Um, but today I want to show you how I do pedicure uh, during quarantine because I stopped going to the nail salons um, and uh, I just decided that it's not worth the risk and that that is something that I can probably figure out how to do myself. And I obviously don't do as good of a job as if I were in a salon, um, but it's okay, I guess. I mean, I'm happy with it. Uh, and I will show you how I do it and usually uh, it's a process and it's act it actually starts the night before. So right now it's an evening and I'm gonna do the stage one of pedicure during quarantine. And these guys will hopefully help me. Probably not, they only make messes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, she's gonna get him. Oh, it's on. So stage one is taking off the old uh, nail polish and uh, me and my kittens are gonna do just that right now. I have my cotton pads and I have my nail polish. So we're gonna take the old one off. Right now we're gonna move on to what I think is the most important part of the whole lazy girl pedicure process is the cream called Kerosol. Uh, it literally uh, breaks down the old cells. It's like a very heavy exfoliator. Uh, you put it on your feet and like all over your feel, feet and, and toes and uh, it just softens everything up overnight. It's really great. So I'm gonna put it on my feet right now, uh, put socks over it, and tomorrow I'm gonna get nice soft feet. back to the crazy bathroom with three kittens and one human as of right now. Uh, it's next morning right now so I just took a shower and my feet are nice and soft and it's the best time to apply some oil to it and um, work on that cuticle removal and just buffing it out and cleaning it out. Uh, let's go. I don't have all the tools that they have at the nail salon because I simply just don't want to even bother to replicate the exact result. But what I have, the nail clippers, of course. I have this thingy that you push the cuticle with. And my favorite of them all, extremely satisfying tool, the thing that you cut the cuticle off and all the calluses and all that stuff. And then after I clean everything up, well, no, that actually I'll put before uh, all the cutting and everything. Uh, it's the s and Essential Solar Oil Nail and Cuticle Conditioner. So this goes before everything else happens to soften it up and make it nice for uh, me to clean it up. I oiled it nice 
and even. And now I'm gonna go in with this cuticle pusher to push the cuticle away. It's really not easy to film with one hand and actually do it with another hand, but I'll do my best. I got distracted and left one of the cabinets open and look what's going on there right now. So now my nails are nice and clean and it's the best feeling. Um, no cuticles, nothing rough, all nice and soft and cleaned up. Um, and I'm actually gonna leave them like that for a day or two, I'm not gonna put nail polish right away, just to give them a little break, a little self-care moment. Um, and I'm gonna see you guys again in a couple days. morning uh, welcome back to the kitten bathroom if you're wondering why there are cats in my bathroom I will be making a video about that so stay tuned but the short answer is that I'm fostering the sweet babies we rescued them this is Chernika it means blueberry in Russian she has beautiful blue eyes um, and uh, there are two she has two siblings so there are three cats who live with us in the bathroom right now but I'm gonna let her go because she's playing with her siblings. Thank you, baby. And back to the pedicure. Now that my feet are nice and clean and exfoliated, we are uh, gonna do the fun part, the nail polish part. Um, I have these two SC thingies. Uh, it's the actual nail polish and the top coat for it. Um, just two steps. I know people do more steps, but I do two steps. Then I have the non-acetone nail polish remover for cleaning up the edges, and I will also need Q-tips. And pretty much it. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. First layer is done. Second layer is done. Now I need to clean up the edges. So I'm just gonna pour uh, the nail polish remover in this cup. I'll take the Q-tip and go to town. I wish I wasn't, I was less messy um, applying the nail polish, uh, the nail polish in the first place, but I'm not, and if I really want that, I need to go to the nail salon, obviously. This is a home version of my pedicure. Doing my best. Okay. 
Okay, now all is done and I gotta get out of, out of this bathroom because I need to dry my nails and having three crazy kittens around me is not helping me because there's a high chance of them stepping onto my feet so uh, yeah, I'm gonna dry it out and show you guys the result. And here is the result. Look how nice. Pretty good job, Anya. Pretty good. And then this one has a little bit like, kind of like got over the edge a little bit, but honestly one shower and it will be gone. So I'm not gonna stress too much about it. I did my best.